Jeff here again from Redbush Premises. Today we're going to do a video on the Atlatl, but I have a special guest all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada, my grandson, Levi. Hey everybody, um, subscribe to this channel, like and share with your friends, and hit the notification bell. All right, you heard him. Like, subscribe, and share. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw the Adel out a little bit. I get the camera turned so you can see what we're doing. All right. Oh, so close. I threw it too hard. Right over his back. <laughs> So the atlatl predates the bow and arrow. It's got a little spur. You get different sized darts. Uh, these are takedown darts. Got a little piece of brass sleeve and then some dowel with a field point. It's got a hollowed out spot on the end, which hooks on your little spur. And that's how you throw it. Boom. Right in the heart. Just like just like that. You don't have to have fancy. Levi is throwing one that's made on a CNC machine. It's a piece of uh stainless. Keep your back down a little more. You can go as simple as that's a branch. So if that was on the tree, branch went up, another branch went up, cut that branch. I did a little whittling right here. Made my spur. It's got a little rabbit fur on it. Some carvings. It does the same thing. Sweet. Here, I'll hold your atlas while you gather up the dark. Yeah, so here's a. I don't remember a gentleman's name. Um, I used to sell these at a rendezvous. I would sell the ones I make. And uh, he bought one, and then the next year he came back. He's a machinist, so he built this one. Got a nice little arrow machined in it. He built that, and then we did some trading. He uh, he traded me this. I let him get a couple of different atlatls that I had and a bunch of darts. So we were both happy. Uh, some of the darts... These are carbon fiber arrows. And then they just screw together. Makes it easy to take them down when you're going to transport them. And now you have a six foot dart. All right, we'll get back to throwing some more. I had you that some back though. That's all I missed. Nice. Come throw, Grandpa. I think those heavy ones will throw better for you. Try one of the heavier ones. So close. <laughs> oh. Dead bear. That's how you do it. That is a dead deer. So, so my approach to it is just like, uh, just like I was going to throw a baseball to you. Same thing. I hold the dart. I look at the target and go towards them. But that's kind of how it is. Practice and practice, and you can work. They, uh, you know, they kill woolly mammoth, saber tooth, all that with them. So they're pretty powerful. This is what they called a basket maker style. 
So it's a flat stick. It's got a small notch cut right there with a little spur. It has a, uh, a rock on it. Uh, they, they claim they claim it gives it more speed. Some claim it's just for uh, aesthetics. It's got a couple loops you put your finger in. Same principle, just a different design. Go ball to the bear. So, so don't pay attention to the out loud, just look at the bear. And right at the bear. Look it on the spur, lay it right there. Keep that in doubt. Are you looking at the bear? Yeah. Look right at the bear. See? Closer. Closer each time. Dialing it in. Okay, hold on a second. Keep this. Take one step forward like this. And throw right, put your hand right at the bear. There you go. There you go. Now you're on it. Try one more. See if I can headshot it. We've been going for a head. Gotta keep the back of it down. Right at the bear. Sweet. Darts, these are uh, bamboo with some, uh, this one has some goose feathers tied on it. It has a regular arrow point stuck into it, tied around it. So you get these bamboo, uh, the garden center, tomato steaks. That's what they, they sell them for. So that's just one way to make a quick dart. Uh, feathers, you know, you go to the park, that has got geese, so you can pick feathers up off the ground there. The, uh, the other way to do it would be, uh, you could put some duct tape on here, flatten it out and make some. I'll do a video here in the future and show, I'll make a couple arrows and we'll do the duct tape method and see what you think. You can put the duct tape and cut it whatever you want. See if I can kill that bear. Missed the bear. Just missed them. Try it again. A bear is leaning against my giant arrow in the yard. It's stuck, it won't come out. Nick says it's hot out. It's hot, Nick. You wanna go back up in the shade? I keep on thinking the bear is laying it back there. So if you don't have a target, that's just a piece of foam got cut out like a bear. 
But if you don't have a target, another cool way to do this is just to get a couple milk jugs, throw one, leave one where you're throwing from, and put one down there and throw at it. That way when you walk down and get your darts, you just pick them up, throw back where you were. Walk down, pick them up. Get twice as much throwing, half as much walking. Going down. He's down. All right, Levi and I would like to say thanks for watching. You got anything to say? Yeah. Click the subscribe subscribe button and notification bell and the like button. You heard him. We'll see you guys later. Bye.